Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and we're going to take a look at a couple of options on the toolbar. So the toolbar is dictated by pretty much this at the top of the screen. Now, I'm not going to go into absolutely everything because generally not everything is required for absolute beginners, but you will come to understand these naturally as you go through. So firstly, we have the hand tool and the hand tool is a way of changing what we can see in the scene so we can move things around easily within the scene. This isn't the way you select objects within the scene. It also doesn't stop you looking around like so. You'll notice that as I hold the right mouse button down in the toolbar, that icon turns to the eye and then turns back to the hand whenever I deselect. The next one along right here is the move tool and this is the way you can select objects within your scene to move around. It's nice and easy, but it still doesn't stop you with that right click. Next one here is the rotate tool and yep, you guessed it. This is how you can quickly and easily rotate objects within Unity. Nice and simple. Instead of having to change things all the time, it's up to you whether you want to use the keyboard shortcuts, but sometimes it's nice and easy to use these things. Here we have the scale tool, and yep, you've guessed it, you can change the scale of any object. So now this axe looks pretty crazy because we're changing the scale nice and easily. And you can tell when you're in the scale view because you can see these little cubes at the end of the axes. Simple. The next one we have is the rec tool. Now, I specifically use the rec tool for UI more than anything, not specifically game objects, but you can kind of change the shape and everything, at least in a 2D environment, nice and simply. In a 3D environment, you can only change it on two axis. It's a bit difficult to change it on three axis, but either way, you can still use it. And this one is basically just a combination of everything together, just to make things a little bit easier. If you're trying to get something very refined, you can just use this little one here, which is the combination. Then you have things like, if you hover over it, it also gives you little, uh, you know, hints of what you can do. But these things aren't 100% necessary. It's up to you how you want to change them. You know, you've got your global and your local. Global is always going to be, well, the world. Local is always close here. Uh, you've got your cloud settings, you've got your account, and you've got your layers, everything here. Layers are something which you can deal with in other ways, uh, right here in the inspector panel. And layout, you can select your layout, whatever you want. And account, obviously, what you want to log in with. So guys, I hope that helps with the toolbar a little more. You guys should already know this button right here, at least. And uh, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, stay up to date with all the content. And guys, thank you very much for watching.